Hey y'all, so today is Money Monday and I wanted to talk with you about how trying to keep up with the Joneses got your girl in $43,000 worth of debt. But before I get started, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hey y'all, I just released my first financial literacy ebook, How I Became Debt Free in 22 Months. This is an easy, educational, and encouraging guide. I want you to check it out. It's only $5. Look in the link in the description box below and click that button. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know, I was in $43,000 worth of debt last year in july 2022 i paid off all my debt after 22 months now y'all my debt was made up of some of everything so i had a car loan i had student loans i financed furniture i financed clothes i had a brand new what well, was a brand new at the time but when i financed it was a brand new iphone basically loads of crap that i did not need and trying to keep up with the joneses is what really led me there so i don't know about y'all but i am just not a good window shopper like if i see something and i want it like i'm going to get it now of course i've gotten much much better at that since being debt free but you know trying to keep up with the folks who was just as broke as i was or even broker you know it's what it's one of the reasons you know that led me into being in so much debt you know so when i'm talking about keeping up with the joneses i'm talking about all those people that are around you you know that say hey you know you should go buy this or you should treat yourself to this you know don't worry about that that, you know you deserve it you know those people that was definitely something that I was just pursuing for a long time I can remember I was in my internship so I was an undergrad and I was in my teacher internship and I knew that I was about to graduate and I was gonna get a job I think I had already had a job um, um, at that point but i was looking at brand new cars like girl i didn't even know how much i was gonna make but i was looking up brand new cars and as a first year teacher your girl got a brand new car and now looking back on that like sis you could not have afforded that at that time and i definitely couldn't i remember like my car note was like ugh, like about 314 ish and that was before um, I might add it in, um, my, what's it called? Um, my car insurance, but you know, I remember just like really just living just like wild and free, you know, seeing something that you wanted, not having the money to buy it. And then, you know, saying, well, you know, you most likely qualify for X, Y, Z, you know, just sign right here. And, you know, you could just pay on it, you know, just a little a month, like, girl, that was me. You know, also, if I saw somebody with something, so let's just say like, you know, I saw somebody with like a new this or a new that, baby, I would get online, get to researching it. Now, I'm always like somebody who wants to get the best deal, but just because you're getting the best deal does not mean that you can afford it, you know? So I think it's really important, you know, for you to look at your budget and say, is this something that, that I can afford at this time? Or can I write it, you know, into my budget for the next time? Now, of course, that's new debt free, Dugan, right? But back in the days, girl, I was like, oh, I want that. I'm going to go get it. So a great example of keeping up with the Joneses that I see a lot of folks doing is the Beyonce tour, right? Girl, I seen them, even as somebody who's debt free, I seen them tickets and I was like, oh, no, ma'am. Now, because they're really, you know, they're really expensive. Now, back in the day, Dugan, you know, would have financed some things, show enough, would have, you know, taken the money that I didn't have, you know, to, to put it towards, you know, those tickets. But, you know, as somebody who used to do that, like, I know, of course, not everybody, you know, but I know a good portion of folks are, right? Because you see, you know, just how amazing the concert is. You see everybody getting dressed up in their cute outfits to go and you don't want to miss out. And that's really like the staple of this is the fear of missing out. I got into all that debt because I didn't want to miss out. 
I want to miss out on a new car. You know, I want to miss out on this, on that. And I was willing to put myself in bad financial situations to do so. And what's important here is really, you know, admitting that to yourself. Like, do I have a problem with not wanting to miss out on things? Because, yeah, that was my problem. You know, I saw it. I wanted it. This came out. I was going X, Y, Z. And once I got, you know, on my debt-free journey, you know, I had to miss out on a lot of stuff. Yes, people looked at me like I had two horns, you know, growing out of my ears. They thought I was so weird and strange and all these other things, you know, but because you can only live once and all this other foolishness, you know, that keeps people just bound in debt and other things as well, you know, but it's important to be able to say, you know what, it'll come back around again. And if it don't, something else better will. Throughout my 22 months that it took me to pay off my $43,000 worth of debt, it taught me to be patient. It taught me that I really wasn't missing out. You know, what I was missing out on was having a good financial future. Like now I can see that so clearly, right? So listen, if you are ready to get on this debt-free journey, if you're ready to miss out on a few things, click that link in my description box to get my $5 e-guide. And if you just need some encouragement, you want to see how I did this thing, click on one of these playlists here. Bye.